We are headed off to hike the Union Spring Trail. It's a two mile trail, so two miles there, two miles back. Uh, but then we are also going to continue on and go to Trap Falls for a total round trip of about eight miles, we figure. So we're really excited to see both the spring and the falls and anything else we might encounter along the way. One man against the universe That's just the way it goes Galaxies with possibilities Which ones are back, no one knows So take your time to get it done And look around When your feet Don't recognize the ground And in the end They forget your name And after all Said and done They'll forget you came Cabin in the Woods? Yeah, this is adorable. There's a lot of these spread throughout the Porkies, but this one in particular Turn around and just look at the view that these people will have if you stay out here. Seize the day, seize the moment. Oh, steal it now while you can. Oh, live today, live the moment. Oh, live to be a better man. This is cool. Try to watch your step a little bit. It's almost more uh, old growth type. Yeah. And the Porkies is known for its, you know, untapped virgin forests. And well, obviously some of this is newer. It's still relatives of the original old growth. They're not all lined up like soldiers that were planted by <laughs> no, Workers. they're not the CCC type of forest for sure. A better man. Oh, pushing water up the hillside. Sailing boats with no sail. yourself knocked down And in the end When all is said and done I can wish all I want But I'm just some other son Seize the day, seize the moment oh, Steal it now while you can oh. We made it to Union Spring and it's exactly two miles from the parking area. So we're gonna go check it out. Oh, how cool. This is the second largest terrestrial spring in Michigan. Union Spring is really cool. If you haven't seen one of these kind of terrestrial springs before, which is uh, essentially where the water comes up from underneath the ground. And as you can see in the video where it kind of bubbles up and, and fills it, it's just really cool to see. And in Michigan, here in the Upper Peninsula, we actually have Kichitakippi, which is the, the largest one uh, where you can actually take a raft out over the middle and see. But here it's just a short two mile hike from the parking lot, which means it's a four mile hike round trip. But it's relatively easy. You've got the first mile is pretty wide open, too tracky. Um, but then the second mile is a little bit more in the woods. You've got some roots, but there's no major elevation changes. So you're not like walking up a big mountain or hill or anything to get here. But, you know, sturdy shoes and, you know, some water is what we recommend. But 
yeah, this is, I think, totally worth it to come out here and see this. Live today, live the moment. Live to be a better man. A better man. A better man. A better man. time. <laughs> I hear water. So we must be getting closer. This is cool. Well, now we have to cross the river over the river and through the woods is not grandma's house, but it is the rest of the trail. So I'm hoping we can use this log down here. Otherwise we may be waiting. Jess, yeah. do you want your pole? I might want my pole. Congratulations, you made it through the Oregon Trail. Wait, I mean the little mini river that we're at here. No dysentery. <laughs> Look, we found Trev Falls. <laughs> just kidding. This is just the water crossing to get there. All right, now we found Trap Falls. Let's go take a look. So this was a worthwhile hike that I would recommend. Um, there's a couple different ways to get to Trap Falls. One is you can park at M107 at the trailhead and walk two miles in to see Trap Falls. And then you can keep going to see Union Spring, where you can do what we did, which is start at the Union Spring side. Correct. Now, if you start at the, M1, the M107, I believe it's the Government Peak Trail, so you want to double check that on the map, but uh, there are... It's pretty well marked too. That's one thing that I have noticed that it's pretty hard to get lost because they do a really good job with their trail signs. So if you come in from the Union Spring side, there's a trailhead there, kind of a small parking lot. Yeah, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can probably get seven, eight, maybe nine cars in there, depending if people are parking appropriately. <laughs> and depending on the size of the vehicles that <laughs> yeah. are here. So if you do that, then it's two miles in to see Union Spring, which is really cool. And then it's another two miles to Trap Falls. So if you start on the Union Springs side from that trailhead, it's going to be an eight mile round trip out and back. Um, but that's what I would recommend. I really like Union Spring and I like Trap Falls. And that way you're going right past Union Springs, so kind of the halfway point. You stop and see the spring both on the way in and on the way out. And there's just a lot to see along the way, too. You've got, you know, the old forest. You've got, in our case, we saw some mushrooms. The only wildlife we've seen today is a number of chipmunks, but you never know what you might find out here. And it's just really pretty. And I think no matter what, it's just a good way to get out and, you know, kind of explore what's here in the Porkies. 
the trail's in good shape. It's going to be really weather dependent, I think, because there are some water crossings. There's some muddy spots. I, I can assume if it had been raining, if it hasn't been raining lately, if it's been raining, it's going to be really muddy. So good hiking boots or shoes, trail shoes, whatever works for you, but something that, you know, you're going to do a water crossing and maybe walk across some rocks or logs. Um, maybe a hiking pole would be helpful. I know we, you, you don't usually use it and I do. But no, I rarely use my hiking pole, but I did today just to help cross the rocks because while I didn't have to take my shoes off or anything, the rocks were kind of slippery. So it just gave me a little extra balance. But I mean, you know, if you're somebody that needs it for knee support or whatever, it's, you know, I would suggest at least having one along. And not huge elevation changes, a few hills here and there, but I didn't think they were too bad. So all in all, this is, this is a winner for me. I'm glad we did this one today. So no matter which trailhead you start at, bring good shoes, a hiking pole, plenty of water, and maybe a snack. Keep on trekking. And we'll see you out there. But wait, there's more. Just wanted to give a quick little addendum to our hike today. So like we said, we did the Union Trail, um, the Union Spring Trail. We went out to meet up with the Government Peak Trail and then a little bit farther to see Trap Falls. So where it says four miles and it's a little bit farther to trap falls so it was about four or four i don't know four and a quarter four and a half making for about a nine mile round trip that took us five hours and 20 minutes that's because we stopped for a lot of video a lot of photos we had to fix our shoes a couple times use the little girl's room um and just enjoyed the scenery so if you're thinking about you know how long is it going to take you or you know what you should bring again we said hiking poles and walk plenty of water and all that kind of stuff but um, just for reference, with all those stops and our pretty good walking pace, it took us about five and a half hours. The other thing is, we mentioned no elevation change. And, and I still think that holds true other than going the other direction on the route, you notice things differently. So there were a few times where we were climbing up a little bit of a steep hill where those trekking poles did come in handy. So again, just being mindful of that, that there it isn't flat. There's definitely roots and some hill climbs and some mud crossings. But... Um, now that we have completed the entire thing, we just wanted to say hope that you can enjoy it next time as well.